When you first start a Facebook Live video, there's always that awkward moment before anybody joins, and that is right now. <laughs> so, hello, good morning, how are you? Welcome to this week's edition of Coffee Chat with me, Catherine Oster. Hello, hello. And these coffee chats, if you're watching live, you'll know this. They happen on Friday morning. And I work at the Paradise Hill Ranch in Western Ware on Fridays. <laughs> so often I'm heading to work after coffee chat is wrapped up. But I'm here with you guys this morning. And I would really like to chat with you about life. Hey, good morning. Who's live with me? I wonder if I can see comments today. So anyway, um, my husband and I, we have a small herd of cattle, about 45 head, and we're calving right now. So there's lots of babies out there. Good morning, Shauna. And uh, it's really interesting to watch them. So they are they start to like so every day we feed the cows hay and you can watch the babies and they're starting to like pick at the hay and they're not really eating it but they're like mouthing it they're like copying their moms good morning robert they're copying their moms because they see their moms doing that with this stuff <laughs> with the hay and so they go ahead and do it too hey good morning dad and then you start to see the little calves like fight, like kind of how the moms will do. They'll push each other around and they'll get a little bit rowdy and they'll try to figure out who's the boss. So I really just noticed that this last week and I'm like, how do they even know that? Well, they know that because they see their moms do it. Good morning, Loretta, or, you know, whatever. And that really, again, kind of like gave me more clarity with how we function. You know, when we come into this world, we don't know what money is. We don't know um, how to do relationship, but we grow up with our parents or with caregivers or guardians or whatever situation you're in. And you see how relationships, money, business, etc., shows up around you. And so you think that that's how it should be. But that's not really the case. It's so interesting. Um, so, and then oftentimes we're stuck with these like conclusion points of view. Good morning, Shannon. And like something that somebody tells you and you take it as real and true. And then you literally live your life from that for the rest of your life until you maybe question it or recognize that another possibility is available. One of the things that I recall for myself, I remember when I was in high school and um, this fellow said to me, you know, we were getting ready for graduation and, and I just remember them commenting and the comment was, well, you better enjoy your time in high school because these are the best days of your life. And basically after you graduate from high school, it's all downhill from there. And I totally remember them saying that. I, I just like that moment, whatever it was, I took that, what that person said, as real and true. And that's essentially what I created. You know, um, after I graduated from high school, I went on to university. And I mean, I did really, I really did phenomenal things in school, but I never really allowed myself to have fun because I had this conclusion that high school was the best. And I would always like, for one of the things, my boyfriend wasn't with me in university. Travis was still back home. And so when I was in high school, when we were dating the last two years, we spent a lot of time together and he wasn't with me in Saskatoon, essentially, where I went to university. So I just kind of let that keep me stuck. I mean, I still did things with the friends that I made there, but it wasn't the same. And then when I came back and I didn't know where I was going to work and, you know, I just kind of, it sucked. It sucked having to go to work every day and pay bills and not actually do what I really wanted to do every day, which was just ride horses. So I was literally living my life from this limited point of view that somebody told me was right 
that the best days of your life are in high school. And I didn't even recognize it until I took a foundation class. Um, and then I started to actually question that. Like, is that actually true? No. And I didn't even consider that there was another possibility until I started, you know, getting my bars ran and things and actually being like questioning these conclusions that somebody had told me. Um, okay, where did I want to go next? Yeah, so I had, so then I, okay, so sorry, there was a bit of a gap there uh, in my life story. Then after I had a son, so I had like everything that you, sh all the ingredients, I had all the ingredients for the perfect life. I had a husband, I had a job, I had a kid, and I was not happy at all. Like literally, and I was so frustrated and I didn't understand it. Well, what was really true, what where all those feelings were really coming from is that I was living from somebody else's limited point of view that somebody told me was right. And it just like struck me. I'm like, why wouldn't I live my life as greater every single day? Why, for what reason would I allow the best days of my life to have already happened? That is actually pretty depressing. <laughs> and, um, so I had this also, all you know, the popular thing, like it sucks being a grown up, it sucks having all the responsibilities, it sucks paying the bills, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, but actually, what if everything is the opposite of what it appears to be? And yeah, you are a grown up, but what if you could choose something different with that? Like just being something different. There's, and then I started having like these realizations. Well, there's nobody telling me that I could not make a living teaching riding lessons and training some horses. So I gave that a try. And then that showed up this and you know, I every day kept asking for greater by asking this question. How does it get better than this? How does it get better than this? Um, how does it get better than this when something maybe not so great showed up. How does it get better than this? How does it get better than this? When something really amazing shows up, how does it get better than this? And it literally shocks me every single time that greater is actually possible and gets delivered. Like I'm always shocked. <laughs> so, and that's kind of how things have shown up for me. Um, since I really started asking that question and really started knowing that greater is actually possible, you know, especially the last five years, I'm just going to throw five years out there. Um, how does it get better than this? And another one of those conclusionary things that somebody else says is right is like, you have to work hard for money. It's literally like energetically ingrained into some people that you have to work hard for money and me being one of them because that's what I saw growing up but I also you know there was like my grandpa he worked every day but he loved it I didn't acknowledge that part he actually really loved going to work and what he did and um you know so is that actually true and if you want to explore other possibilities like how does it get better than this and another thing you know money doesn't grow on trees or as you get old your body is going to start to get sore like that's another thing that I've really been seeing hearing people say a lot I guess maybe the people that I'm hanging out with are older <laughs> and not all of them say this but some of them do where they're just like oh this old body of mine is hurting so much you know so that's another point of view that somebody is telling you is right. And, um, and what I just start to do now is I'm just like, that's really interesting. And what if my body could get stronger and more flexible with age? 
is it really just a popular point of view that your body essentially degenerates and breaks down as you get older because that's what everybody believes. But what if that's not actually true? And what else is possible for you? <sighs> so, do you wanna create something greater than you ever thought was possible? Just start asking that question. How does it get better than this? Every single day, all day long. And I wonder what will show up for you. And of course, I'd like to invite you to the foundation class that I have coming up starting on Wednesday. Wednesday next week. Join us live with your body in Davidson, Saskatchewan. Or you can join us online wherever you are comfortable. And the foundation class is literally where we start to break apart the foundation of your life. The foundation is all of those limited points of view that everybody tells you is right, that you have been living your life from. And we start exploring different possibilities in all areas, whether it's with your body, business, relationship, um, money, and yeah. So if you're ready for a jump off the cliff, I'm happy to jump with you. <laughs> anyway, grateful for you guys times a godzillion. Good morning, Bobby. Thank you so much for joining me live today. And if you have any questions about anything, shoot me a message. So have an amazing day wherever you are, whatever you're up to. Remember, how does it get better than this?